Well, hospital workers need equipment like shields. And they're getting them from some pretty surprising places. WBC's Bill Shields has the details. In normal times, the Aileen Candle Company in Milford, New Hampshire, would be doing just that, making candles. But these are not normal times. Anytime there is a, uh, a call to action, uh, everyone's uh, urge is to try to do something for the greater good. They saw a need for doctors and nurses. They needed plastic face shields. There aren't nearly enough. So they turned their candle-making plant into one that makes face shields, three to 5,000 a day. Our goal is, the soft goal is to do as much as we can for as many people as we can, uh, given what we have. And in Falmouth, the Woods Hole Research Center normally focuses on climate change. But they too saw a need at Falmouth Hospital. And the scientists here decided to turn over all their latex gloves to the hospital. Almost 3,000 pair. We're also members of the community here, and it is a small community. Uh, and so our first priority, of course, is to protect the health and well-being, not only of our employees, uh, but of uh, community members as well. In the midst of this very scary pandemic, it's actually very comforting to know there are a lot of people out there who are willing to give their time and energy and their hearts to fighting it. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Everyone's doing